The winter rays shall flower on Jesse's ancient thorn. The word of God unfolding in human likeness born. The world will see a marvel it cannot understand when God made man approaches salvation in his hand. O Christ, so long awaited, your age-old promise keep, awake to life your people who lie in sin asleep. Come forth from God your Father, take Adam's guilt away, and with your Holy Spirit, come, Lord, do not delay. Hi, Orion here again with Chant for Today from the Chapel of Royal Holloway, where I'm the chaplain. Uh, this is a, just a short and simple hymn. I think it's a hymn for midday prayer. The words written by the nuns at Stanbrook Abbey, whose music I have used before, and I'm sure I will sing to you again here. Although they, they're the composer of the words here. The tune is by uh, Alan Rees, who was the abbot at Belmont in Hereford for some time. It's a modern tune, although very much in the sort of modal plain song style. And the th it just brilliantly compresses in the language some of the themes of advent ending with that come lord do not delay the urgency of which grows as we proceed through advent take adam's guilt away that sense that that kind of deep sense that what happens at christmas is the is the re rearranging the transformation of what went wrong in the world from the very first uh, from the very first with adam and eve um, and uh, you know that awake to life your people who lie in sin asleep i'm working backwards through it um you, you know this this sense of our need for wakefulness for attention for readiness for the coming of the one who will save us uh, and uh, uh, and it starts with this image a winter rose shall flower on Jesse's ancient thorn. Of course, the tune is called Rosa Mystica, and Mystic Rose is a name which is given to Mary, uh, particularly in the English tradition. Um, but, uh, but here the rose is not like the rose of uh, Gaudete Sunday, the third Sunday in, Sunday in Advent, one of the, very, the two days in the liturgical year when it's permissible to wear a sort of pink colour, although it's called rose. Um, not because of any link with Mary, but because it's a sign of joy, a sign of the lightening of the purple of, of the Advent season of preparation. And, uh, and here, the winter rose that shall flower on Jesse's ancient thorn is, of course, Jesus himself and the joy of his coming, the word of God unfolding in human likeness born. And reminiscent, of course, of those passages which we've been hearing from Isaiah in our lectionary, in our, in our worship lately of of a, a rose bloom, a flower blooming in the desert, the desert shall blossom and, and the wilderness kind of coming to bloom. I'll sing it for you once more. The winter rose shall flower on Jesse's ancient thorn, the word of God unfolding in human likeness born. The world will see a marvel it cannot understand when God made man approaches salvation in his hand. Though Christ so long awaited your age-old promise keep, awake to life your people who lie in sin asleep. Come forth from God your Father, take Adam's guilt away, and with your Holy Spirit, come Lord, do not delay.